Hello all. Hey, I wanted to bring to you today a quick ship with me video. So I have five items that I want to just go over. There's some really, really good brands. So please stay tuned for this uh, full little brand at the end. But I want to show you a little bit about my shipping station. So um, my shipping station is in my garage. All of my inventory is in my garage. It's really clean. It's my garage. So... <laughs> Let me flip this around. I will. Sh so this right here, it's just a um, wooden shelf that my husband and I made. I have a little padded rug here. All of my USPS boxes you can get for free, USPS.com. Now, excuse all of this. This is all for a um, garage sale pop-up type thing I'm going to do. I rented a popular place covered awning. They call it the tabernacle um, to go ahead and just move some quick inventory. But this is all not normally here, but this is where I keep um, handbags and then empty boxes. Hard goods are here. This is my uh, bubble wrap uh, packing peanuts in this big blue thing. But um, I do have a stack of boxes under the window down there too that I keep just for um, my, you know, eBay parcel post stuff. So um, I'll switch it back. Is my um, my scale? It's just a wire basket, and this is just it's a food scale. If I need anything that's heavier than this can handle, I go to my bathroom scale. I know not quite professional, but it's what I have for now. Uh, my trash can. This is um, all of my shoe leather care supplies here. Some real, real bags, some packing stuff. Um, here is my holder that has my different thank you stickers, pretty little things inside, my roll here. I believe it's just a paper towel roll, but I, I think it works. Um, sometimes when I get a thread up label, I put it on the wall here so I don't forget about it. I have tissue paper just happened I get it I got it from the bins actually beautiful and then um, underneath is some of the um, like moving paper that I also got for free at one time uh, some random ribbon that I I'll show you today I'll take a little extra time since I don't have as many sales to pack up sometimes I tie up packages um, my handy dandy stamp with all my business info measuring tape regular tape Here's my stamped cards, coffee, of course. <laughs> um, my little spinner, it's got all kinds of Sharpies, pencils, markers. Um, it has the bigger USPS stickers for priority mail. This is kind of a hodgepodge. Um, it has extra rolls of tape, the priority tape. Um, it has jewelry boxes, if I need jewelry boxes. Um, I do keep some like flyers that out of like junk mail um, if I need to like stuff a shoe or something like that or under a hat to keep the um, dome of the hat but yeah that's pretty much it some extra boxes and um, like uh, poly bags that I get stuff in that I want to recycle I just um, keep down there because I am a bit small business so <laughs> that's a look at that and I will be back in just a minute to pack up sales. Okay, so here we are. I want to go over my sales with you. You can see them kind of piled here in that little tour. Um, you can see them as well. I have five sales today. Um, there's some good ones in here, so don't let that fool you. But I just wanted to go over my sales and let you know there's a Bolo brand at the end. You want to look for this brand, trust me. Hang around. Um, and just kind of what it sold for, what, how long it's been sitting, that kind of thing. So, let's do this. I will take a little more time, since I'll have as many today, to um, wrap them up, use some ribbon, make them pretty. So, we will start out. Um, these are some baby Birkenstocks. Baby Birkies. You can see Birkies right there. Um, I got these from a kid to kid. Um, closed trade place, buy, sell, trade, whatever you want to call it. Um, they did have some scuffing on them and things, but I took some items in, some of my kids, some business items, and um, 
You know, Birkenstocks are like low-hanging fruit. They sell no matter what size, whether they're kid size, adult size, especially this time of year. Easy pickup. So these sold for $28 on Poshmark. That 20% fee was $5.60. These were $9 at the buy sell trade. I don't normally pay that much for shoes, but well, I guess Goodwill is $8 now, so okay, I do pay that much for shoes. Not for kids' shoes usually. Um, $13.40 was what I made on these, but these were listed. I listed them on June 22nd, so today is July 4th. So quick flip, low hanging fruit, you can't go wrong. So these little guys, um, let's see, I am going to, um, let's do a padded flat rate. They're from Posh, so, um, you know, I'm not going to wrap these or anything. They're kid shoes. <laughs> and it's not going to ruin the integrity of these if they get kind of, you know, squished or anything. They'll be fine. So. I'm going to tuck these in this padded flat rate. Alright, padded flat rate. You can go to USPS.com, have it sent right to your door. I order these in boxes of 100. So, that way you don't have to fight with your post office because they can be quite stingy about these sometimes. <laughs> so, just order them, have them sent directly to you, no big deal. So, a uh, little thank you sticker little business sticker so these are what I do with my handy dandy stamp just one of these self inking little stamps I apologize it's backwards in your screen <laughs> but and then I put a bright little sticker to make it stand out because it is white on white but these stickers were free from the bin so there you go so and that one is staying in Texas let me get my bag. This is my uh, post office bag, so I have not broken down and bought a Hulkin yet, but one day. So um, I just use this heavy duty canvas bag to haul my goods. So next up, we are going to do this guy. This is a uh, Ralph Lauren. There's a little boy shirt, but Whenever you see Ralph Lauren and it has like a big number or the big pony on it, whether it be boys or men's, um, yeah, I've heard they do well. This one, unfortunately, took a little bit longer because if you notice, there's no size in here. So I didn't realize that when I bought it. I just saw all this and got excited. So, um, and it has this really nice embroidered on the side. So, um... You know, it was one of those things that you bought it, now you have it, make it work. <laughs> so, um, so this sold on Posh for 12 bucks. That was an offer to me. I think she offered 10. I countered it 15. She sent back 12, and I just accepted. Time to move it on. So, cost of goods was 256. Fee was 295. No shipping discount. Six forty nine is what I made on this little guy. We will use some ribbon just to tie it up, make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, let's see, that's fine. These are all just scraps, so <laughs> I try to use them up, like I say, all the time on my no budget type of business. <laughs> Low to no budget. Ooh. Let's use this red, white, and blue one. That's perfect. So whenever there's some um, little trinkety things or something like that that um, oh, that's not gonna be long enough. That comes and oh, we'll use red. That comes and um, has some kind of ribbon or packaging or something. I really do try to recycle it and reuse it. Um, just a shame that all that goes to the trash right away. Especially things that are cute and can be reused. So, okay. This is just going to go in a padded flat rate again. I love these. They are so handy. Um, and instead of just doing it normal, I fold it 
all the way over. Um, again, if you've watched my videos, you know that I try to make my packages kind of as small as I can without hurting the product. That way, um, my customer, if they have especially those cluster mailboxes, can get their package in there. Sometimes the post person will forego it and leave a note or something, or it'll get on the porch where it might get stolen because um, they don't think it'll fit, or there's so much mail it won't fit. So I try to assist my customer in getting their stuff sooner. The sooner they get it, sooner you get paid. So there's that. Whoops. Okay. I'll stop rambling. Let's move on. Okay. This is a 511 tactical undershirt. So if you see this right here, the symbol or this brand, it is really good. This is a, a firearms brand. Um, military use it, hunting uses it, um, gun shooting, that kind of thing. So it's a black undershirt. Sorry, it's cloudy here today, so the lighting's not the best. Um, new with tags, so I was at a um, shooting range qualifying for some things, and um, they had a bunch of these on clearance, because they always have like the pro shop. So they had a bunch of these on clearance for like $5 or something. And so my husband wanted a couple, and I was like, all right, I'll buy some extras, help offset the cost, and sell them in my business, and whatnot. So, um, <laughs> this cost of goods is a little higher because some were a little more, some were a little less than the $5. So it equaled out to $18.05 cost of goods. So a little high, but it is like retail arbitrage. It is new with tags. So this is the last one I have. So it's one of those move it along scenarios. So I got an offer $25 on Posh, that $5 fee, no shipping discount, again, that high cost of goods. So $1.95 was what I made. But it's the last one of the group. I made money on the others. It's moving along. These were listed for over a year. Over a year. So goodbye. Good riddance. Move along. <laughs> um, this one, let's wrap it. Let's find something. Should I put pink on it? <laughs> Let's see. I won't be mean. I won't put pink. Nope, that green's not long enough. Do y'all do fancy packaging? Let's do some black. Black on black. There we go. Black on black. Do y'all do fancy packaging? Do you find that it makes a difference? Do you do you enjoy fancy packaging when you get it, or you just want what you ordered? Let me know below if you find it's beneficial. Um, I do it when I have time, so not always, but I think it's fun, but it's not always something I do, so. Okay, again, padded flat rate, folded in half. Um, let's go into Jordan and Massachusetts. Thank you for buying my last one. Sometimes with bulk buys like that, you're just tired of seeing it. <laughs> so you're just happy to see it go. All right, next step. This is something you want to look for, um, but you got to check your comps on these. So it is the Seven for All Mankind Dojo. And you want to look for the ones that have the seven on the pocket. So the seven on the pocket is the one you want to look for. Again, still check your comps because these are a capri. There are 31 waist, so that was going for it. The seven on the pocket was going for it, but they are capri. So it had good selling points. So I knew I was going to make money, but I knew it wasn't going to be outrageous prices like the dojos normally bring. So this is a seven for all mankind dojo, seven on the pocket, but they are capri. So Take that for what you will. So, um, these sold for 28 on Posh. I'm gonna use a little one that's already tied, so we will 
make this work. Um, cost of goods was $4 for these, which was amazing. And I got to wear them once, so they were my size. Um, fee, $5.60. I did give a shipping discount. Uh, that was a Posh Revier offer. So if you don't know what Posh VA is, um, if you have Poshmark, it is an automated service, sends offers, you can list, delist, relist, <laughs> all those things. Um, you can send offers automatically, so you don't have to send babysit Poshmark, it shares your closet, shares other people's closets, follows, unfollows, there's so much you can do with it. It's a monthly service, there is a discount code below, um, check it out. See if it's worth it. It has helped me and my business so much. Um, you can delist, relist every morning, brings your listings to fresh eyes. So it's awesome, I think. So I'm gonna put these in the Tyvek mailer. They're all wrapped up with the ribbon, that's so pretty. Apologize if you're kind of noisy. I don't know if I said it, but I made $16.38 on these, so they're not the crazy good dojos, but I knew I had something, and I got to wear them, so bonus. <laughs> so, these are going to Princeton, Oregon. Again, I folded this in half, so um, I do, though, on these, I don't trust this adhesive here, so I try to kind of put a couple stickers on the ends just in case it gets snagged. I'm always afraid of stuff spilling out, so <sighs> call me a worry wart, but there you go. I just want my people to get their things and I want to get paid. It's the name of the game, right? So, okay. So that was a pretty good brand. So this last one though, listen up. Okay. If you're not watching, Please watch for just a minute. You want to know this. You want to recognize this because I didn't at first. I was in this Goodwill in the good part, good part of town and I came across this tag and I was like, huh, this looks interesting. Whenever you have a tag and it makes you think that, hmm, that doesn't look like it's made in China. It doesn't, I mean, it looks like it has quality to it. Look it up because Oh my goodness. So this is the tag. Again, I apologize. It's flipped around on your screen, but you can flip it in your mind. Okay. It's called Ace and Jig. A-C-E ampersand, I think that's called J-I-G. Ace and Jig. So, um, it's kind of this um, canvas type tag. It's big. So, it's a lag and look. Brand. I believe it's made in, in India, I want to say, but it's this gauzy cotton. I don't know if you can tell from right here, but I'll hold it up. They make these prairie cottage core lag and look style gauzy cotton pieces. So I found 13 pieces, tops and dresses from this brand at this Goodwill. I paid, it came out to $8.14 a piece for these. I knew I had something. I looked it up. This was on the new rack, the new rack coming out. <laughs> and the um, they roll out this um, bin that the, it's a smaller Goodwill, but it's the nice part of town. So they have new racks out and they have empty racks and then they have a great big bin. And when it's slow, the workers are out on the floor in this little corner picking out of the bin and hanging up. So they let you kind of look through the rack that's already hung up, but not the bin, but I spied a few things. I was naughty, I was naughty. I grabbed three or four of the dresses out of there and then the lady came over, she's like, um, please don't look in the bin, you know, just in case it falls on you, we don't want you to get hurt. I said, oh, sorry. So <laughs> grabbed my stuff, ran, I ended up with 13 pieces. I am so thankful that I did because this brand is amazing, amazing. Go look it up on Poshmark right now. Go Google it, look it up. So, I ended up, I think, with oh, more dresses. I think seven or eight dresses and the rest were tops. 
all the tops I have listed at $98. Um, it's hard to find the, um, the style names and stuff. And I want to get them listed because these are just amazing. So they all were extra small. Though. <laughs> I didn't realize that until I got home and was putting them in my spreadsheet. And I was like, oh, well, it'll work. Some might sit a little longer, but they have gotten a lot of attention so far. All the tops I've listed at 98. All of the dresses I have listed at 148. So this one though, so this dress sold on eBay. Be sure you have them cross posted because they're getting attention everywhere. So this sold on eBay for, so I charge shipping and sales price. So $110.60 for this dress. Cotton, summery, lag and look dress. Cost of goods was $8.14. First class is 10 ounces. So first class, $5.17 to ship. My fee, $15.60. So I made $81.69 on this dress. Y'all, find this brand. I will show this to you one more time. If you didn't see it the first time, here you go. Ace and Jig. These are all extra small, but Ace and Jig. Let's see. Yeah, made in India. So find it yes find it so $81 I couldn't believe it and they all I mean they're pre-owned they're not new with tags and they still are bringing in that kind of a price so amazing this I have it folded up we are going to wrap it in some of this beautiful tissue um, you know, it's a little bit of a higher end sale, so I'm going to take a little bit more care in my packaging. Not that the little sales aren't worth it, but I have time, so there we go. I'm going to wrap it up in this tissue. Tape. My kids usually steal the tape, so I'm glad it's here and I have some. Thank you, sticker, to hold it closed. Isn't this paper beautiful? The bins, y'all. The bins. And it actually is, um, it says Texas, Texan House Inc. So I think it's actually like made in Texas. I don't know, but I love it. So, um, since it is wrapped in tissue, I'm going to put it in the Tyvek mailer. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's beautiful. I love hummingbirds. My gram, that was her favorite. There we go. Okay, wiggle it in there. Okay. Oh, um, I did it. I sure did it. This is first class. I set it and then I put it in this one. Y'all, I'm human. Excuse me while I uh, redo this. <laughs> oh, it's a holiday. It's been a long week. Okay. We're going to redo this one. Let's get this here. I have some pretty mailers. We'll stick it in. So this is my recovery mailer. Um, this company, who is it? These are through, if you, oh, you pack and ship. U-P-A-K-N-S-H-I-P. So this is a um, fundraiser, I believe, for the lady's daughter. Um, this tells her daughter's story on here um, through recovery. And then this is beautiful, isn't it? It is gorgeous. So I bought these um, through you pack and ship. Um, I think they were on sale, but I love the idea of spreading you know, hope and healing through the mail, <laughs> essentially. So we're going to keep that beautiful packaging going. So, whoops, my bad. I'm human. So we'll try this again. Wouldn't you love to get this in the mail? I think so. So, um, we are going to, we'll put the, can slip on this side. You can still read the story and see the beautiful picture. Okay. Put that there. It's here. 
This deserves two thank you stickers for that price. So, got that on there, got this here. All right, last one. So, I hope y'all are having a fantastic 4th of July weekend. You're being safe, you're having family time, eating all the things, seeing all the people, getting some sunshine, enjoying life, and uh, you know, that's why we do what we do, right? So, we'll see y'all next time, and uh, pray for great sales for July. Bye.